Hi everyone and welcome to another painting tutorial where I'll take you through how I painted the chapter symbol for the Red Scorpions Space Marine chapter. So unfortunately it won't actually be a full tutorial for the Red Scorpions chapter as uh, I did end up deciding to go with the Red Scorpions chapter for my apothecary. But with that being said, I still wanted to do the chapter symbol. So the first thing I'm doing is just getting a nice round outline using uh, well, any black acrylic would be fine. I am using black by Vallejo though. So just follow that around and try to get it as even as you can. But don't worry so much if you don't get it perfect, as we can always correct it when we get to filling in the center with white. So with the black now done, I'm just going to begin filling in the center with white, uh, dead white by Vallejo. But again, any white acrylic will do just fine. Now you just want to make sure you don't have this too thick, so just water it down a little bit, and if need be, do two coats. So with the first two steps now done, now for the tricky part. So as I always say when painting something like this, especially for the first time, it's always great to have a reference. So whilst I was painting this, for example, I had an image up on my computer, just of the Red Scorpions chapter symbol. And I just began following it as best as I could. And I'm using my Raphael 8404 size one for this. As you can see, it holds a really, really nice point. I have mentioned it a few times in previous videos. It's always important to have at least one really good brush for details such as this. So as you can see, I did begin filling the center with more of the red once I'd gotten the outline that I was happy with. And always remember as well, you can always jump back to the white to correct anything that you aren't happy with. So for example, that claw wasn't quite right, so I did end up going back and correcting that with white as well. 
and the legs as well. And instead of editing all of this out, I did want to leave it in just to show you that yes, we all make mistakes and I wasn't really happy with the shape of it. So I have gone back and just cleared up the shape just to even it all out a little bit as it did look a little bit chunky. And of course, as always, when your paint's thin enough, it's relatively easy to go back and do these steps where necessary. And at this point I was really happy with the shape of the scorpion's body. And just really take your time with the legs on this side, well both sides, but especially this side, as it is a little bit hard to get the shape right, considering that the body from the angle of the scorpion is overlapping the legs. So they're not going to be the same in size visually as the other side. And here is a photo of the completed miniature, so I hope you found this tutorial useful today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.